So, it's official. DISRIP is here. You might have heard a lot of folks talking about it, or you might not have heard that much. Either way, DISRIP could mean a big difference for you in where you do your job, how you do your job, and how we coordinate care for our patients. This video will help give you some understanding of what DISRIP is all about and why it's such a fundamental shift. First off, DISRIP is an acronym that stands for the Delivery System Reform Incentive Payment Program. It's not important to memorize all those words. What's important to understand is that DISRIP is part of a national commitment to promoting population health under the Affordable Care Act. What does this mean for New York? Beginning with the Medicaid population in New York, providers will be penalized and rewarded based on how well they keep New Yorkers healthy in their community. Now maybe you're wondering, why do we need to change our healthcare system? I work hard to take care of my patients every day. We know you work hard, but there are several problems with our healthcare system that mean the care we put in isn't always the care others get out. Let's take a look. For decades, healthcare providers were paid every time a service was provided, whether or not the service made people healthier. Here in the US, we spend the most on healthcare of all developed nations, but we consistently rank last on performance. In New York, it's not a pretty picture either. We rank 36th of all states in avoidable hospital use and cost. This includes what we spend on things like unnecessary readmissions, chronic diseases, and untreated behavioral issues. And like most other states, New York fails to coordinate patients' many health care needs, so we spend a lot of money on health care and still get poor outcomes. DISRIP is an attempt to put our Medicaid dollars to better use, changing our focus from providing sick care to providing well care. We want to have healthier patients and healthier communities with easier access to care. Who's paying the bill for this overhaul? The money for DISRIP, more than $6.4 billion, is coming to New York from the federal government. Its goal is to reduce by 25% avoidable hospital use for Medicaid patients, which translates into a 5% reduction in overall hospital use over the next five years. DISRIP's new approach will also mean changes for some healthcare workers. In general, we're going to need to coordinate and collaborate more, learn new things, and develop new skills. You may be called on to have greater flexibility in terms of where you serve patients and how you service them. Instead of continuing to operate on its own in a silo, your organization will begin to work with a network of healthcare stakeholders, which DISRIP calls Performing Provider Systems, or PPSs, to improve the health of the population within its community. PPSs are made up of hospitals, some unionized, some not. Health homes, nursing facilities, home care agencies, ambulatory clinics, behavioral health providers, and community-based organizations that will coordinate their services. Odds are, if you're watching this video, you're already part of a PPS. It's the job of these PPSs to help communities access care when and where they need it and invest in population health. With this proactive approach, we can lower health care costs and still improve care. In preparation for DISRIP's debut, each PPS came up with a project plan for its community that includes strategies and milestones that over the next five years will be used to judge whether their plan is working or not. Each PPS prioritized a menu of five to ten projects for their communities. This allows healthcare dollars to be laser focused on what the needs of a specific community are. Healthcare is changing in an effort to better serve the people who need it most, and your organization may be asked to make changes that impact you. Here are four key areas all healthcare workers should focus on to increase their DISRIP readiness. Customer service, computer skills and technology, interdisciplinary teamwork, and improving processes. Now that you have a better understanding of what DISRIP is, you might be thinking, Sounds like a big idea. How will we know if it's working? 
Or how will I be able to say what I think should change? That means we have a role and responsibility in shaping what the future of healthcare looks like and in influencing and implementing the decisions of our PPSs to create a better system for patients and all healthcare workers. No one has a crystal ball to say exactly what five years of DISRIP will look like, but there are some things we do know, and jobs in the community will increase. And we know that as we adapt to the new normal of change, healthcare will always require a human touch. Remember, it's up to us to be ready for DISRIP. I'm getting ready. 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 Get ready.